Hello everyone, how are you today? I am Dr. Paramjeet and you're watching Dr. Education and this is Science of Supplements. Last time we had explained why and how branched chain amino acids are very important but you do not need to supplement them and they are already present in your diet. If you haven't watched that video then don't forget to watch that first. I think we can, we can watch it afterwards also. But then today's topic is glutamine. Many of you have asked me about glutamine, why it is important, do we actually need to supplement glutamine or not and what is the science behind glutamine, right? Glutamine, L-glutamine, right? What is this L? And yes, glutamine comes in two forms, levo and dextro, L for levo, dextro for D for dextro. The natural form of glutamine is L, levo, right? <coughs> and do you need glutamine? Yes, you need glutamine. Do you know that the glutamine is an amino acid? It's a protein, right? It's an amino acid. We have already seen in episode 1 of Science of Supplement season 2 that what are amino acids? There are 22 types of amino acids and 9 of them are essential amino acids and glutamine is a non-essential amino acid which is a conditionally essential amino acid. Why it is conditionally essential? Why it is non-essential? It's non-essential because your body can actually generate, create glutamine uh, whenever it needs it, right? And why it is conditionally essential because sometimes during some certain stressful conditions your body needs very high amounts of glutamine which is not which cannot be met by just the internal stores. So that time you need glutamine in diet. So we'll see everything here but first let's start what glutamine does in your body and where is it stored? See you have all the all the protein stores in your body which is there in your cells whatever protein is present in the form of muscles right the maximum amount of amino acid which is there in your body is glutamine right it is the maximum <clears throat> your muscles actually stores store almost 90% of all your glutamine in the body and 60% of your muscle is actually made up of glutamine so 60% of your muscle is made up of glutamine, 90% uh, it stores in, in the skeletal muscles. So why is glutamine so such an important stuff? Because glutamine in its natural form is required for the muscle recovery. It's true, glutamine is required for muscle recovery and for decreasing the soreness and stress on the muscle, right? It actually even decreases the muscle uh, degeneration. Right, increases the muscle growth. It actually uh, preserves the most important amino acid, most important protein, which is leucine for muscle, which is important to stimulate the mTOR pathway to basically stimulates muscle growth. Right. So glutamine is very important. But do you need to supplement glutamine? Do you? Why is it unnecessary to supplement glutamine? See, understand. Glutamine is. 90% of it is stored in the muscle, but 10% is, is found in the blood, right? So in normal diet, in a normal person, a normal person or even a person who is bodybuilding, actually, if you see the uh, research, they do not require any glutamine extra than whatever is obtained from a normal balanced diet, right? So why does in stressful situations, you actually require extra glutamine? Now we'll first understand where all glutamine is used in the body. One is in the muscles. Second, in the blood, the glutamine goes and is used by two, three big organs of your body. Number one is your blood cells, your white blood cells. Your white blood cells, which are their leukocytes, lymphocytes actually use your glutamine for their energy, energy resources. And so that's how glutamine actually which is present in the blood, the 10-20% glutamine which is present in the blood is actually used by your uh, WBCs of our white blood cells. It is used as a respiratory fuel, right, for energy. So it gives glutamine, gives energy to your WBCs also, your lymphocytes basically and it also gives energy to your liver cells, your hepatocytes, to your intestinal cells, intestinal mucosa, their integrity is maintained because of these glutamine, even your brain's neurotransmitters like uh, GABA and glutamate are made up of glutamine 
and glutamine is important in nitrogen transport in your body also nitrogen is also given taken out from glutamine as an amino acid all the amino acids give nitrogen but glutamine is the most abundant amino acid in your body all right so you need to understand that that's also the case that means it has to be more abundant in nature in nature also right glutamine is more abundantly found in the naturally occurring food also again obviously if your body has the most the big most abundant amino acid is glutamine then most abundant amino acid in the food products also is glutamine right that's the idea so that's why if you are having a normal diet if you are a normal person normal fitness guy bodybuilder you don't need glutamine supplements you can get all the glutamine from your food and in special situations what happens in your body say if you have if you are undergoing a higher stress if for example like if you have a fracture if you had a surgery if you have a big infection critical illness or some kind of cancer or some kind of illness critical or heavy sepsis infection then what happens your internal wbcs your white blood cells your fighting cells in the body will increase to very high and that time they will use a lot of respiratory fuel that means a lot of glutamine will be used by them even for any kind of purpose even the cancer cells can use a lot of glutamine to actually survive so all these things will deplete the amount of glutamine which is present in the blood and therefore your body will find glutamine from your muscles because you might not be taking so much glutamine in your diet that's why your muscles will be broken down and will be supplied these glutamine will be supplied to your immunity cells your wbcs because that time your wbc your fighting cells need to survive so that's why when you fall sick when you fall ill you become thin that's why when you fall ill for a long time you become thin your you must you lose muscles because that time your muscles break down to form glutamine glutamine is used for respiratory fuel energy for your wbcs hepatocyte etc etc neural transmitters etc etc so that's how things work. even when you are starving when you are fasting for a long time your muscles break down for the same purpose right glutamine if you are having some burn say like those kind of injury post surgery recovery or in endurance exercises marathon runners who run for more than 2 hours right those people actually need glutamine for muscle recovery because that's a kind of stress this this is called high stress on the muscle on the body 2 hours of running right <clears throat> so when the studies actually were done that if normal people or regular people or bodybuilders or even bodybuilders say who are undergoing constant regular stress on their muscles and body they took glutamine extra glutamine on one person and another people another set of group took just placebo then they saw that there was no difference no difference in them so extra glutamine did nothing for those people for bodybuilders for normal individuals even when they compared someone who was doing natural bodybuilding without supplement without whey protein without creatine and somebody who was taking whey protein and creatine both people who took uh, glutamine there was no difference in their recovery or their uh, other things with so glutamine extra given to either of them is not having any difference even in power output or other thing glutamine having no difference so what is the point here the point is do you need extra glutamine how much are you getting from your food see all the major food protein products have quite good amount of glutamine but some have less some have more right naturally occurring food plant food have high glutamine content for example your naturally occurring food like uh, your lentils food grains right lentils and fruit grains all the uh, food which you regularly eat even vegetables they have more than 15 20% of all their protein is glutamine 15 20 25% of wheat has wheat and food grains have 25% of their protein as glutamine although to wheat has a less amount even 7% protein which is the present in wheat but that out of that 7% 25% is glutamine in lentils 15% is proteins and out of that 15% 20% is glutamine 
right so plant protein have high percentage 25 20 to 15 to 20 percent of glutamine milk has 16 to 20 percent of glutamine fish has 15 percent of their protein as glutamine then uh, chicken meat eggs they have less amount of glutamine the if you take 100 grams of protein in the chicken it has only one to two percent of glutamine so that's the idea so you need to that's why you need to take at least half of your protein requirement from plant foods that's why at least half or mixture is at least one meal needs to be from there so that's how you need to complete your glutamine so is there any requirement yes it is required only for running for endurance recovery for people who are running for more than two hours is there any limit yes if there are any safety safety concerns yes see glutamine is basically converted to glutamate and ammonia so if you take a lot of glutamine ammonia can increase a lot of glutamine can cause side effects in your intestines can cause withdrawal symptoms after you're getting off it because you are taking high energy food for your you know high energy food for your intestines for your hepato liver for your uh, wbc's fighting cells and suddenly when you get off glutamine so your immunity your wbc's your liver cells your intestines will not get that high energy that high respiratory energy now and they will become little less so you will have decreased immunity decreased liver function decreased amount of intestinal problems so you will have intestinal problems infection other thing when you wean off when you stop taking glutamine so that's the withdrawal function so that's why you need to understand glutamine how much is it needed how much should you take the normal doses of glutamine is 0.3 gram per kg body weight 0.3 gram maximum you can take 0.8 gram per kg body weight the safety limit from medical point of view is 14 grams per day and if you calculate your diet you're taking much more than i'm talking about supplements if you're taking supplement 14 gram per day is the safety limit and 40 gram per day is the maximum which can, can actually uh, has been given in special conditions like cancers or uh, sickle cell anemias or some uh, people who are in under critical illnesses so that's how glutamine is you don't need glutamine for normal bodybuilding for other things only high protein diet with a normal balanced diet you are done with your glutamine only if you are a runner your endurance recovery needs a little glutamine that too you can adjust from your diet or you can take a supplement 5 gram 10 gram that's more than enough so that's all about glutamine hope you like the video don't forget to keep sharing don't forget to like and subscribe and don't forget to ask your people to watch this video right all your gym people all your trainers all your bodybuilders whatever you want just ask them to join and don't forget to uh, write down in the comment section what topic you want me to cover next okay bye bye see you